Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. 5 Memorable Moments from 5 Clashes Between West Coast and Port Adelaide at Adelaide Oval West Coast have turned their affection with Adelaide Oval into a full-blown romance, with an unbeaten 5-0 record at the ground over Port Adelaide ahead of their clash on Saturday. The two sides have not met at the venue since Round 18, 2018, having played two games at the Eagles' home ground of Optus Stadium and one at Metricon Stadium, a Port home game during the Covered Hub in 2020. Ahead of their sixth meeting at Adelaide Oval, Samantha Rogers takes a look at five of the most memorable moments from their five clashes, which have all been decided by less than 10 points. Shuey with the clutch kick, EF, 2017, the 2017 elimination final between Port Adelaide and West Coast will always be remembered for Luke Shuey's after the siren kick to win the game for the Eagles. Should Jard Pollock have been penalised for taking Shuey high to give him a shot on goal? Did Shuey duck into the tackle? The answer might depend on which colours you're wearing, but the full-time score read Eagles by two points. That contest was the third and most recent occasion extra time has been required in an AFL final series. But is Mackenzie the real hero? EF, 2017, although Luke Shuey's kick won the game for the Eagles, West Coast wouldn't have made it to extra time without the heroics and footy smarts of Eric McKenzie. The key defender put his body on the line and cannoned himself into Port's behind post with the ball to ensure the Eagles didn't concede a point in the dying seconds of normal time. It was an extraordinary act with just 40 seconds left on the clock and power forward Charlie Dixon hot on his heels. History repeats itself, round 21, 2018. In the Eagles' first match following Andrew Gaff's infamous derby strike on docker Andrew Breshaw, Dom Sheed canes into the side as the AFL world puts a question mark over the club's 2018 premiership hopes. The Eagles did not lead for the entire match and were eight points down when the final minute ticked down. It was not pretty but West Coast found a way to score and with 43 seconds left, two points separated the sides. After plugging away in defence all day, Jeremy McGovern swung forward and clung to Mark before history repeats itself for Port. The win also secured second spot on the ladder for the Eagles, who went on to win the flag in 2018. Ugly Act Sparks Melee, Round 9, 2016, Port Adelaide defender Tom Jonas sparked a melee when he lifted his forearm to the head of Andrew Gaff with the West Coast midfielder being knocked out as he went with the flight of the ball. Elliot Yeo was the first to remonstrate with the now port skipper, as almost the entire field of players got involved in a scuffle. The Eagles' medical report stated Gaff had been found unconscious and remained that way for two minutes after the incident. Jonas copped a six-week suspension after an unsuccessful attempt to challenge the charge backfired at the AFL tribunal. Kennedy kicks seven. Round 9, 2016, West Coast spearhead Josh Kennedy put on a clinic against Port Adelaide in their Round 9 clash in 2016. The Eagles forward kicks seven goals, including a superb run around from deep in the pocket, to lead the visitors to an eight-point victory. Kennedy's haul was the most by a travelling player at Adelaide Oval and sits behind Port's Jay Schultz, eight, on the all-time list. Equal second alongside Taylor Walker and Josh Jenkins' best returns at the ground. Kennedy is chasing a milestone of his own this weekend, requiring five majors to reach 700 career goals.